Welcome back to SAPiFi Academy. In this video, we're diving into one of the most important business processes in SAP SD, the order to cash process, also known as O2C. So what exactly is order to cash? It's the end-to-end -end process that starts when a customer places an order and ends when the company receives the payment. This process connects every major department, sales and distribution, SD for sales orders and deliveries, materials management, MM for goods movement, and financial accounting, FI for billing and payments. In short, O2C equals order arrow delivery, arrow billing arrow payment. It's the backbone of every business running on SAP because it tracks the entire flow of revenue from customer demand to cash collection. In this video, we'll go through every step, from pre-sales to payment, and you'll understand exactly how each stage works in SAP SD. Part 2 Step 1 Pre-sales activities, inquiry and quotation Every order to cash process in SAP SD starts with pre-sales activities. This is where customer communication begins. Before a customer places an order, they usually want to know two things. Can you deliver the product? And how much will it cost? To handle that, SAP SD provides two main pre-sales documents. One, inquiry, VA11 a customer request for information or availability. It contains material, quantity, and expected delivery dates. The inquiry has no financial impact. It's just an information request. Two, quotation, VA21, the company's official offer to the customer. It includes pricing, discounts, delivery terms, and validity dates. When the customer accepts the quotation, it forms the base for a sales order. Example, as a customer asks, can I get 500 units of product X next month? You create an inquiry in SAP. Then you send a quotation with price and delivery terms. If accepted, you convert it into a sales order, VA01. Pre-sales documents help track leads and opportunities ensuring that every sale starts with the right data and agreement. Part 3, Step 2, Sales Order Creation, V01. Once the customer accepts your quotation, the next step in the order to cash process is to create a sales order in SAP. This is done using the transaction code VA01, and it's the core document that controls everything that follows. The sales order contains all critical information, such as customer details from Customer Master, material and quantity from Material Master, delivery dates and plant location, pricing conditions from Pricing Master, and payment terms. How it works. When you create a sales order, SAP automatically pulls data from Master Records so you don't have to enter everything manually. For example, enter the customer number. SAP fills address and credit data. Enter the material. SAP fills product description and pricing. The system then checks availability and credit limit automatically. Once the sales order is saved, it becomes the foundation for the delivery document and billing document later in the process. In real projects, the sales order is often referred to as the heartbeat of SAP SD because every other document depends on it. Part 4, Step 3, Delivery Process, VL01N. Once the sales order is created, the next step in the order to cash process is the delivery process handled in SAP through transaction VL01N. This is where the logistics side of SAP SD begins. The delivery document controls the movement of goods from the warehouse to the customer. Here's what happens during the delivery process. 
one create delivery document VL01N. Reference the sales order to generate a delivery. The system copies all relevant details like materials, quantities, and plant. 2. Picking and Packing Warehouse staff select the products and prepare them for shipment. Picking list and packing slip can be printed directly from SAP. 3. Post goods. Issue PGI. This is the final step of delivery. When PGI is posted, stock levels are reduced in MM, and financial entries are created automatically in FI. Revenue recognition will happen later at billing. Example, you create a delivery for order number 4,500 in VL01N. After goods are picked and shipped, you post goods issue, stock decreases, and the system records the movement in both MM and SD. Delivery ensures that physical logistics are perfectly aligned with SAP data. No shipment happens without it. Part 5. Step 4. Billing and FI Integration, VF01. After delivery, it's time to generate the billing document. This is where the financial impact of the sale begins. In SAP SD, billing is done using the transaction VF01. The billing document represents the customer invoice and serves as the bridge between sales and distribution SD and financial accounting FI. Here's how it works step by step. 1. Create billing document, VF01, reference the delivery or sales order. The system copies pricing, quantities, and taxes from the order automatically. 2. Post to FI Financial Accounting. When the billing document is saved, SAP automatically creates accounting entries. Debit, Customer Account, Accounts Receivable. Credit, Revenue Account. This ensures that both the sale and the receivable are recorded instantly. 3. Output. Generation SAP can automatically generate and send the invoice to the customer via PDF or EDI. Example, you create a billing document for delivery number 8, 00123. System posts to FI automatically. The company's books now reflect the sale and the customer's outstanding payment. This step officially converts your goods delivery into recognized revenue in the system. The Financial Heart of O2C Part 6, Step 5 Payment and Order Completion, F28 The final step of the order to cash process is payment processing, where the company receives money from the customer. This step is managed in financial accounting. FI, using the transaction F28. Here's how it works. One customer makes the payment. The customer transfers the invoice amount through bank, check, or another method. The payment reference, like invoice number, is used to match the open item in SAP. Two post incoming payment, F28. In SAP, open receivables from billing, VF01, are cleared when the payment is posted. Accounting entries are automatically created. Debit, bank account credit, customer account, clearing the receivable. 3. Close the order to cash cycle. Once payment is received, the full cycle is complete. Order, delivery, billing, payment. The system now shows the customer's account is fully settled. Example. If the customer paid invoice number 800123, you open F28, match the open item, and post the payment. SAP clears the receivable and updates the company's cash balance. At this point, the sale is fully closed both operationally and financially. Completing the O2C process in SAPSD. Part 7. Recap plus tips plus call to action. Let's quickly recap everything we covered in the order to cash process in SAP SD. The full cycle includes five key steps. 
one pre-sales activities, inquiry and quotation, VA11, VA21. Two sales order creation, creating the order in VA01. Three delivery processing, shipping goods and posting goods issue in VL01N. Four billing, creating invoices in VF01 and posting to FI. Five payment, posting customer payment in F28 and closing the cycle. Key takeaway, the order to cash process connects every part of the business, from sales to logistics to finance. It ensures that every sale turns into actual revenue on the company's books. Pro tips for SAP consultants. Always double check your document flow, sales order arrow delivery, arrow billing arrow payment, Make sure master data, customer, material, pricing is complete before testing O2C. Use transaction VA03 to track the entire process document chain. Practice in sequence. That's how you'll truly understand SAPSD logic. Call to action. If this helped you understand SAP's core process, hit the like button, subscribe for the next video, SAP SD Configuration, Order to Cash Setup, Step-by-Step, step, and Drop a Comment. Which step of O2C do you find most challenging? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next session on SAP Academy.